Let's open a mow today. Wow! Little bit of a bummer there. I was really hoping to mow this grass today because it's long after applying that fertilizer the other week. So instead, today, we're gonna amend my soil with some potassium because I've got low potassium in the soil and we're leading to winter, so let's apply some liquid for it today. At least we can do something. Ooh, sun's coming out. Yo, mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Didn't forget. So for today's video, I was planning to mow the lawn, but we got, I think it was 20 or 30 mil of rain, which this time of year when you get that and there's no heat around, it sits on the lawn for ages, so yes. Bit of an issue. Ooh, we'll see with some water coming out of this trampoline. So, it's always something to do on the lawn though. Always something. I can't near the sun there, that's funny as. I thought it was gonna be raining all day today. That's right, but yeah, not a lot to do. I think before we put something down though, I've had a lot of people asking me about the stains on the brick walls um, from the iron. So, let's try some of that stuff just on one spot and see if it does actually get rid of the stain on the brick wall. I don't know where I've left it. I have no idea where it is. Uh, it was in the garage, so let's get a paintbrush and let's just paint it. I think the worst spot's out the front in front of the um, bedroom window at the front. So let's paint it there and see if it makes a difference. If you guys remember, I used this in a video a little while back on the color bond fences and it made a huge difference. Like it really worked really, really well. So it's good stuff. Um, but let's try it on the bricks, see if it works. It might not, it might, we'll see. All right, so this is the worst spot here where my iron standing is. Um, I don't think there's any, there's some spots around the rest of the house, but that seems to be the worst of it. So let's just use a little bit of this. Let's go straight because we're naughty naughty people. Let's just do a strip and see if it makes a difference. Can't believe the sun's out, what the flip. Weird. Anyway, let's paint this on. Remember this won't do any harm to the grass either. I'll leave it a couple of minutes, wash it off and see how it goes. Just while we're waiting for that to dry, I just want to show you guys something. So we've had some cold temps over the last three days, and the kai queue in the street has gone really yellow. Look at this. Woo! It's gone so yellow. Like, it's ridic ridiculous. Even Matt's lawn over across the road. Seriously, yellowed off heaps. That's what happens this time of year in orange especially, um, which is why I oversowed the tiff tuff with the rye and the bent, is because it'll go dormant this time of year, so it stops growing. So I will be spraying this out in the springtime, and the tiff tuff will be back, don't worry. I don't think I actually explained that to people when I originally did this project, so yeah. But that's why it's green. This is yellow because of the cold temps. Cool season grass, loves it, warm season grass. Blech. Right, so you can see it has definitely made a difference. You can see the defined line, like right there. That's crazy. That's so good. That's just a quick application too. If I gave it a little bit of a scrub, I reckon, with like a brush or something, I reckon that would come off really well. But you can see it exactly where I painted it. Definitely works. Look like I'm going around with a brush on the walls. <sighs> Yay. I'm going to be painting it all in future. I won't do it today. I'll use the excuse that it's wet and rained. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and we've, got to, we've got to apply some liquid fur, guys. Come on. Um, I put some there as well. Yeah, it definitely has made a difference. It's good stuff. Really good stuff. So anyway, I might show you guys at the end of the video if it looks any different. If it does, if it doesn't, you know, it hasn't changed. But, oh well, yeah, it worked, so... There you go. All right, well, let's go get that phosphider out of the shed and let's apply it today. I'll talk to you guys a little bit about why I'm using it and what's in it as well and why I'm gonna be using it over winter as part of my liquid fur program in winter time. Seem to have lost all my measuring jugs. I've only got this little one. Bang the bum bum. Anyway, all good. So today we're applying some kelp and some Fertec Phosphider. So the reason I'm using Phosphider today is because I've got a deficiency of potassium in my lawn, which is not great. And usually I can tell when the potassium's starting to get a bit low because the lawn starts to get a little bit yellow and the leaf looks a little bit sick. Now it's okay at the moment. It's not too bad because I put that inoculate complete out recently, but I'm still gonna amend it with some liquid over the next little while. Um, just because liquid's gonna get down in there quicker 
and work a little bit better as well. So over winter this year, I'm gonna be applying that phosphider probably, I'll probably say almost once a month with some kelp, probably some humic acid as well. Just kelp today, because um, I put humic acid on not too long ago. Don't wanna overdo it, not that you really can, but just don't want it rot. <laughs> But yeah, put the phosphider out. So what's in this product is a couple of different things. So this is it here. So it's mostly got some phosphorus and some potassium as well. Phosphider, obviously, you know, phosphider, it's got phosphorus in it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's got some amino acids. I've done some videos before talking about amino acids. Do some research if you want to know how that works. Um, we won't go too in depth today, but amino acids are awesome, acids are awesome for your turf. Biggest thing I want though is the potassium and phosphorus isn't too bad in my soil. It's sort of on the average sort of a level, so we're not too worried about that, but it's gonna be fine. But this is great for establishing turf. So if you've got new seed, great to put on new seed. So I'm gonna put it on the seed today because that Fertec special effects I put on the other day had no P or K in it, just the N. So I'm gonna put this down as well. And yeah, it's really gonna help with their plant vigor and our root growth, so establishment. So we've got the rates on the back of here. Um, so it says 100 to 200 mil per 100 square meters. So we're gonna go to the higher end of the rate today. Um, with the seed, you can even go a little bit higher. You can go 250 mil per 100 square meters. You can sort of choose what you want, but it's fine if you get some rain after this, cause you can actually put it down as a soil drench. Such a risky boy doing it on the lawn. Oh yes. Love the smell. Always searching for a better thing Wanna replace me I'm in a place that I've never been It's worse than lonely Can someone tell me there's a good in me There's good in me Cause I got doubts, I got doubts, I got doubts, yeah Sometimes I wanna risk it all Since you left me Struggle baby, I see pain Now that that's done, I'm glad. I love putting some phosphorus and potassium down. It always gets a good response to my lawn because it is lacking. Um, but yeah, I'm planning to do a soil test towards the start of spring this year and show you guys what I'm missing in my soil and how I'm gonna mend that throughout the season so you guys can sort of learn off that as well. So if that's something you're interested in, that's what I'll be doing start of next season. Um, always smart to do a soil test, at least, at least every two years. If you can do it yearly, even better because you can see how you progress along the way because your soil's never going to be perfect, and if it is, you're like a dog. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's have a big, quick squeeze at the green, because um, it's, it's been two days since I cut it, since I last shot that other video. Oh man, it's definitely greened up. That Fertex special effects, tell you what, magical stuff. Liquid iron, in general, magical stuff, but I'm a fan of the old special effects. Um, but yeah, you look at that, nice and green. A little bit of bruising. Um, when I mowed it, you can see a couple of black spots, a little bit of bruising, that will come back fine. It's already starting to like stand up now from that. It is a little bit wet as well, so it does look a little bit brown from that, but um, brown, black. But yeah, all in all, looking great, progressing along. I was really hoping to get a cut on it today. Probably a good thing I'm not, because it is a little bit bruised. Um, and the reason that is, is just because it's such young grass, and I put a heavy mower on there, so you know, Probably smart thing to leave it a couple of days. Good lesson to learn if it looks like it's done something like that. Back off on your practices a little bit like your, your mowing and stuff and go from there. So, you know, I'll probably mow it on the weekend now, today's Thursday, another two days. Once it dries out too, see I can't mow this because it's so young when it's wet like this. I could probably get away with mowing this lawn. There's just a little bit too much water. Um, but this lawn, I would control myself, which is a hard thing to do. <laughs> Righty, well that is going to be it for this video, but thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Glad I could get something shot today, even with this nasty weather. I was really keen for a mow. 
so it might have my next video but yeah really appreciate you guys watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like this video if you enjoyed it or you learned something new and you have a good week so if you're sticking around to the end you can see it is a little bit more prominent how that iron wore off look at that definitely works so it looks like i am going to have to get the brush out and do all of the bricks there's got to be a better way to do it i wonder if you could use a broom paint roller i think someone mentioned that recently paint roller is a great idea not bad let's do that i'll do that in the future um but yeah i'm going to do a mo for my next video so i want you guys to vote so i'm going to put a poll up the top there um there's going to be like a little thing that comes up on the screen i don't know how it works anyway click on it and there should be a poll there if you can't get to the poll just put in the comments below what stripes you'd like to see on this lawn next mow that i do and i'll try to make the stripes really stand out i'll have to double go over the stripes and two I mean over them twice struggling there um but yeah keen anyway so yeah oh yeah oh yeah some power anus there's just some good old winter grass in there look at that ew it's like a big oh, it's disgusting you know it's funny this stuff man will grow anywhere it is ridiculous <laughs>